Fascinating villages in Iran. Surviving remembrance of old time. All the great civilizations around the world have originated from small villages with a minimalist lifestyle. Throughout Iran's history, Iranian villages have played a decisive role and have caused the continuation of life in the big cities of the country. In addition to the beautiful atmosphere, Iranian villages have warm-hearted and welcoming people where there's no sign of the hustle and bustle of big cities, traffic and pollution. As far as the eye can see, the greenery and freshness is in front of you. Karana village. 80 kilometers from the city of Yazda, the ancient village of Karana or Korana, with an approximate age of 4,500 years and a historical background of 1,800 years, is one of the important heritages of Iranian history. The oldest existing historical document in which this region is mentioned dates back to 1370 years ago during the reign of Yazdgird, the last Sassanid king. This document is in fact a report of a Zoroastrian cleric and shows the prosperity of Corona as a resting place and its caravanserai made for merchants and travellers. The old name, Kor Anag, means the birthplace of the sun. Korana village consists of two parts, old and new. The old part, also known as Karana Castle, has been uninhabited for about three decades and its old and spectacular buildings are very spectacular. In this section, you will see structures that are 1800 years old. The new section is also home to a simple minimalist village. The villagers live on planting crops such as turmeric, melon, cotton, wheat and barley. 145 families live in the village of Karanak in Yazda. The village also has a great economic importance for the country due to its iron ore, uranium, barite, zinc and granite mines. Many animals live in the heart of this desert including cheetahs, rams, goats, wild cats, rabbits and foxes and birds such as terns, partridges and ravens. Mesra village. Mesra is a village that has become the desert hub of Iran in such a way that fewer days can be spent in this village without the presence of Iranian and foreign tourists. Mesra, formerly known as Cha Daraz, Kalata Yusuf, and Mazrai Yusuf, is a village in the city of Kor and Biberbank a city in the Esfahan province. It is said that once upon a time the village aqueducts became dry and water scarce and a man called Yusuf, who was the owner of one of the richest people in the village, was forced to dig a well. A few years after the well was exploited, the aquifer went down again until Yusuf dug a deeper well, which is why the village is called the village of Cha Daraz, a long well. Maimand Village. Maimand Village is located in Kermand province. This village is also known as a rocky village due to the presence of many rocks in its mountains that have been dug by the inhabitants. 
The name Maymand consists of two words, May, wine, and Mand, drunk. The villagers tell different stories for this naming. According to the Heart to Heart stories, the villagers began digging holes in the rock after drinking and getting drunk. But some people believe that Maymand is Maymanat, meaning happiness. The main feature of Maymand is the structure and shape of the houses. No mortar was used in the construction of these houses. They have dug houses in the heart of the mountains and rocks without the need for soil, water, bricks or mortar. In each room a niche has been dug to place various items on it. In this type of architecture the houses are called kitchen, consisting of one or two rooms and one stable. Each house has a common entrance to which the rooms are connected. The shape and structure of the kitchen are different and their size is also different. Room temperatures are always about 5 degrees warmer than outside temperatures. The stoves are inside the rooms and the colour of the ceilings and walls of the rooms has turned black due to the burning of firewood in the stoves. It is interesting to know that the presence of fire and wood preparation in the room has caused insulation and that this has increased the lifetime of the rooms. Roofs of rooms where fire has not been lit for several years have been ruined. The largest kicker in Maymand is about 90 square meters and most rooms have an area of about 12 square meters. Kandavan Village Kandavan, 50 kilometers southwest of Tabriz, is one of the villages of Sahand district. What gives Kandavan its ancient identity is the existence of 117 families and dwelling houses within the conical and pyramidal rock-shaped masses. The villages of Kandavan have built their own houses, cages, warehouses and workshops inside these masses. Rock architecture indicates scenes of human struggle with nature and the use of natural rocks. In ordinary architecture, gypsum, lime and clay form the main body of the building with building materials while in rock architecture the desired space is revealed inside the rock mass and the stone. Like the body, it is a strong layer it creates around this space. Due to the volcanic interactions of the Sahand Mountains, a view has been created in one of the most pleasant and airy parts of Iran, which seems more like a dream. Dozens of multiple pair, single, conical and spindle-shaped borders. It has embodied one of the best natural landscapes in Iran. Sabatan Village Sabatan Village is a tourist area in the northwest of Talash city. The old cottages with their wooden windows have created a unique view that the idea of such a pristine area in Iran may be far from the mind. A village where there is no news of electricity pylons, mobile antennae and noise pollution. Sabatan is located at an altitude of about 2,500 meters above sea level. For this reason it has been very cold in the winter and even in summers snow spots can still be seen in some high places. This village is also known for its anemone plains. In the name of Sabatan, it is said that Sioux 
in the Talish language means golpa, a kind of flower, and veton means to grow. In another narration, it is said that in Turkish, su means water, and batan means the place of sinking. So sabatan becomes the place of sinking of water. There was a spring in Sabatan, the water of which, after going out from the heart of the soil, sank back into the ground. Sabatan's summer area has no electricity or gas, and hundreds of traditional ranchers and nomads still live in black tents and mud brick houses. Wooden houses form an attractive and important part of your traditional texture doubling the beauty of this unique nature and soaring and lush mountains. In this area, there are several cemeteries from thousands of years ago that tell the history and ancient civilization of this land. Oraman Tat village. There's a beautiful village in Kurdistan province which is among the attractive villages for tourists both because of its special architecture and because it's located in a green and beautiful area. This village which is known as Oraman or Oraman Takt has a stepped architectural style and the roof of each house is considered as a neighboring yard. The architecture of Araman is completely adapted to the mountains and the houses in the villages of the region are built in a stepped manner due to the steep slope of the rocky slopes. Most houses are built on two floors and depending on the standard of living, the spaces of the houses are different from each other. Araman is located in the middle of a lush and wide valley and thus there's enough reason to visit it. The use of uniform materials adds to the charm of this spectacular village. <laughs>